this video will cover the 10 best data science and machine learning certifications. Subscribe for more and let's get right into it. Getting a certification is pretty simple. You take a one-time exam and you get certified. And there's a good reason to do so. It can help you get your first job, get a promotion, or just increase your salary. And you can prove to companies that you have the desired skills, and by doing so, you're more employable. But there's a huge problem. People are wasting months on certifications with little or nothing to show for it. They're getting certified, but they're still unemployed and struggling. It's because not all certs are the same. And if you pick the wrong certification, you're not just losing out on opportunities, but you're going backwards and wasting precious time of your life. And many, if not most, certifications are not worth it. Today, we'll talk about the best data science and machine learning certs that are actually worth it. We'll cover both advanced and beginner certificates that just about anyone can benefit from to get a job. It took me many late nights and a ton of research to make this video, and now I'll share my best findings with you. So I hope you appreciate it, and let's begin. First up on the list, we have the Microsoft Azure Data Scientist Associate. This is an intermediate level certification, but we'll talk about some beginner's certifications as well. Now for this one, you can leverage it even as somebody relatively new, which we'll talk about as well. It's made for the data scientist role. And according to Microsoft themselves, you'll manage data ingestion and preparation, model training, deployment, as well as machine learning solutions, monitoring with Python, Azure Machine Learning and Machine Learning Flow. This is a Microsoft certification, so you will be focusing on using the Microsoft tools, specifically Azure in this one. It is one of the most in-demand skills in data science, competing with other cloud platforms like AWS and Google Cloud Platform. More specifically, the skills that you'll focus on in this course include design and prepare a machine learning solution, explore data and trade models, prepare a model for deployment, as well as deploy and retrain a model. You'll have 100 minutes to complete the exam itself, and it's a one-time thing, which you can do either on site or from the comfort of your own home. You will be monitored by a proctor during the entire duration of the test, but it's still way more practical than having to schedule an exam at a physical test center and go all the way there. But I do know that there are some people that prefer doing it in person as well, so both options are available. The price is around $165 on the high end, in, for example, countries like the US, but it will depend on your location, so do check that out as well. And before I get asked this, because I always get asked this, will I have to renew my certification? And if so, is that free or do I have to pay for it? And to be honest, it does depend on the certification. For Microsoft ones, you generally don't have to pay because they actually allow you to renew most of them for free. And that also applies for this certification, which is definitely a plus. Now, let's talk a little bit about who this certification is for. And in my opinion, you should definitely have some experience in data science, focusing on machine learning. Sometimes the jobs can be very different, even if they have the same title. So if you do have a data scientist role, but you're mainly doing data analysis related tasks, then perhaps this one is not going to be the easiest for you. However, the only real requirement listed by Microsoft are that you've been using Azure machine learning and MLflow, and that you have some practical experience. And it's quite vague exactly what you need to learn, but they do also have a practical assessment, which I highly recommend that you take to see how you're doing and if it's something that you could pass relatively easy or if you would need a lot of studying to pass this one. Next up on our list, we have the Open Certified Data Scientist. This is technically not just one certification because they do have three different levels. The first one is called Level 1 Certified Data Scientist. We also have Level 2 Master Certified Data Scientist and Level 3 Distinguished Certified Data Scientist. So these certs can be very relevant regardless of your level. Before anything, you probably wonder who they are and why you should get a certification with them. And that's a valid question. And they're basically an organization founded in 1996 in San Francisco in the United States, and they create standards as well as offer certifications for different skills. Now, this one is slightly different than the other certifications that we're going to talk about. And here you don't actually take a test, which is very interesting. You don't have to take any exam at all, and there's no course or anything to learn. Rather, what you you do is that you submit your profile and you'll be evaluated on different criteria and see if you meet them. And if you do meet these criteria, you'll be awarded a certification right away with no exam or anything to do. So clearly, this is not something for a complete beginner. However, there is also something called the Associate Data Scientist by the Open Group. And that is one that you can get without any professional experience. And it's kind of a lower level cert of the same type. This more entry level cert is specifically made
made for people that have built skills in, you know, education environments by taking courses and doing some projects and to give them an opportunity to validate these skills with a certification. I think that is fantastic because it's something that many people worry about because they've learned a lot of stuff, they've done projects, they've gained experience, but because it's not work experience, they believe that it's not valuable. And fine, everything is not going to be the same as work experience, but it can still be really, really valuable and useful. And I do appreciate that the open group has a certification like this, which actually focuses on students, beginners, and people that want to break into the field. The only requirement is that you've done some projects or that you've done some form of academic training and gotten hands-on experience, but it does not have to be work experience. The interesting thing about this one is that it's not related to a specific tool as well, like a Microsoft or Google certification. And I would say that it's both a good and a bad thing because if you do have a specific tool like Microsoft Azure that you want to learn and be certified in, that can be a really good thing. But if you just want to get a general one, this might be a better option. Next up on the list, we have the SAS and data science certification. Now, SAS stands for Statistical Analysis System, and it's basically a software suite for analytics and business intelligence. In this certification, you'll be tested on your ability to manipulate and gain insights from big data with a variety of SAS and open source tools. You'll also make business recommendations with complex machine learning models. And finally, you'll deploy models at scale using SAS. They actually offer four different certifications and that can help you launch a career in data science. According to themselves, you can either Either take just one but optionally you can also take a combination of different certifications if you want to and if you have the time personally because there are a lot of other good ones on the list I would just pick the one that's most relevant to you so you have some time left to do the other ones if you want to the first one is called a data curation professional data curation is the organization and integration of data collected from various sources and they do recommend that you've taken relevant training which you can read more about on their page and they also suggest that you have two to three months of hands-on experience using SaaS data management tools. You can definitely get this from either projects or from work experience. So this one is available to you even at the entry level, as long as you spend enough time and prepare for it properly. The next one is called Advanced Programming Professional. Now, this one is more focusing on the SAS programming language. And if you want to get certified in that specifically, then this is a great option. There are not these detailed requirements listed, but I did find a free practice exam on their website, which you can check out as well. And that is a very good way to test your level before paying anything for the exam. We also have the advanced analytics professional, and this one is specifically focused on, well, analytics and using SAS and their different tools. For this one, you'll need to pass three different exams. And the first one is predictive modeling, then advanced predictive modeling, and finally text analytics, time series experimentation, and optimization. So it's three different exams that you have to pass, and for that reason, you should definitely read more about this if you're interested, as it's going to be a significant time commitment. And finally, we have the AI and machine learning professional, and there are also multiple exams in this one, but it's all focusing on machine learning as expected. I do think that these certifications are good for people looking to break into the field. The price seems to be around 150 to 200 bucks for the exam. It could work vary depending on your country but the main thing to consider here is if SAS is actually relevant to you now it's a great thing to learn but I would only get these ones if you're specifically looking to get certified in SAS otherwise there are better options on the list next up is going to be the data science certifications from data camp this one is focusing on collecting, analyzing, and interpreting large amounts of data using machine learning and AI, as well as communicating the results to stakeholders. The tools you'll use are R or Python. You can actually choose as well as SQL or structured query language. The exam itself is completely free, but you will need a subscription, which is, I think, 25 bucks a month. And it does take around two hours to complete. You can prepare for it in any way you want. They do have some specific preparation courses and also a preparations exam, which I do recommend that you take before attempting the exam. I'm going to make a full video on this one and some other certifications later, so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss that. And while this one certainly isn't like a certification by Google or Microsoft or something like that, I would still say that it's recognized and well known. It's not going to make companies throw themselves at you and think that you're an expert data scientist, but the main advantage is that it's free as long as you have a subscription, so you don't lose anything by giving it a try. And I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. Moving on to number five, which is going to be the Google Professional Machine Learning Engineer. I think it's pretty obvious what this one is about, but more specifically, they test you on your ability to architect low-cost ML solutions, scale prototypes into machine learning models, automate and orchestrate machine learning pipelines, collaborate to manage data models, serve and scale models, and finally, monitor machine learning solutions. You'll have two hours for the exam, and it's 
50 to 60 multiple choice questions, no open ended questions, and it cost 200 bucks to take the exam a one time fee. Although the price may depend on your region as well. It is for people with three years of industry experience, including one or more years designing and managing solutions using Google Cloud. So this one is not really an entry level certification. It's more for somebody that's been in the field and they're looking to increase their pay opportunities or you know their general job opportunities and get certified. And that is why the main preparation for this exam is actually work experience. So you can just review the sample questions and see exactly what they're looking for and then fill in the gaps and finally take the test. But I would not recommend this one if you don't have some experience. Number six is going to be the AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty. And in the exam guide, it says that it focuses on applying machine learning approaches for a given business problem and also identifying appropriate AWS services to implement your machine learning solutions and design and implement scalable, cost optimized, reliable and secure machine learning solutions. Now the price is 300 bucks as a one time fee and it's 180 minutes to complete the exam with 65 questions. They're all the multiple choice or multiple response. There are no open ended questions and you can take it online or at the physical test centers. This one is not for beginners either. I just want to put that out there, but we are going to get to a lot of more beginner certifications in just a second. It's a specialty level certification, which means that you should have a few years of relevant machine learning experience and working with AWS. Number seven is going to be the Postgres SQL 13 associate certification. And this one will test you on your ability to maintain and manage a PostgreSQL server and applications in a production environment. Now, if you don't know what PostgreSQL is, there are many different database management systems or DBMSs, and PostgreSQL is one of them. Some other examples would be MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server. The syntax varies a little bit depending on the type, but generally speaking, the differences are not that significant. And if you do know the basics of SQL, you can pretty much learn any version of SQL when you need to. The price of the certification is around $200 and it may change depending on your location, but I was not able to find any information about that on their page. The exam you need to pass takes 60 minutes, so it's a really quick certification. It's filled with multiple choice questions and you just need 70% or above to pass the exam. Just like most of the other ones, you can do them online. You buy access to take the exam and you can take it anywhere within six weeks. When you complete the exam, you'll receive a certification and a badge from Enterprise DB to put on your LinkedIn or print out and do whatever you want with it. But again, the most important question is who should take the certification? And I would say that it's suitable for beginners and those with intermediate Postgres SQL experience because it kind of validates skills in managing and operating Postgres SQL databases and covers the foundational aspects of Postgres SQL. There are many ways to prepare for it. And on their website, they list one one course as a prerequisite. Now, I would be a little bit suspicious about this one. It's called Foundations of Postgres SQL. And guess who the course is from? It's actually from them and it's their own course. And surprisingly, it's very, very expensive. 1200 bucks for their short course. Now, luckily, you don't need to take that exact one. And I think that if you do, I mean, you could do it and it could be a good idea, but there are some really good other options as well. You can learn using other resources online and just make sure that you don't miss any key concepts if you do decide to self-study this one without their course, because you don't want to pay for the exam over and over again and, you know, have to retake it because that can get very expensive too. But if you're looking to learn Postgres SQL, you can do that even on YouTube. There are a ton of great videos out there, so there's really nothing holding you back. I'm going to leave all the links in the description and check out this video next handpicked by the YouTube algorithm for you. I hope this was helpful. Have an amazing week, guys.